Hello, I'm Pip Hare. I'm a professional ocean racing sailor and you are joining me on board the Amoka. I just raced in the Vendée Globe. On behalf of the RNLI, the RYA and Irish Sailing, I wanted to remind you how important it is to check your boat before you go afloat. Preparation before you go afloat is so important and it doesn't matter if you're racing around the world or going out for an afternoon. You need to make sure that your boat is safe, your crew are safe and you can be self-reliant while you're out there. The kinds of things that you're going to need to check before going afloat are your through-hole fittings, making sure there's no water in the bottom of the boat, that your safety equipment is well serviced and in date, that your engine is running well and you have sufficient fuel to get you there and back and a contingency. Before going to float, it's a really good idea to go through and if possible to practice your emergency drills. I certainly discovered this in the Southern Ocean when I had to replace one of my rudders. The fact that I'd actually done it as a practice drill before I left on the race was invaluable and I can't advocate this practice enough. So before you go afloat, make sure everybody understands what to do in an emergency. And if you have the opportunity to practice a man over board drill or anything like that, then take it because it's time well spent. If it's been a while since you were afloat or since your crew were afloat with you, then it's definitely a great idea to think about a refresher course and I know the RYA and Irish Sailing offer some great courses. If you're thinking about a staycation this year, a sailing course could be brilliant. But training really helps, not only with your enjoyment of the sport, but it helps to keep you safe while you're out there. And don't forget, every time you go afloat, tell someone where you're going, what time you expect to be back, and always take a means of calling for help. I hope you all enjoy getting afloat over the summer and making the most of the fabulous coastline we have in our country.